I'm working on some more getting started with 3D printing videos, but while I was doing this, Cura 4.5 beta was released. So I wanted to test it out with my profiles. I did make some minor modifications and I'm releasing those. I'll show you that. Plus I have a lot of people asking for profiles for version 3.6. They still want to use that. And then there's some people like me who like the look of 3.6, but want to use the latest Cura. I'll show you the plugin that does that. I've shown it before, but I'll give you an update because I tested it on 4.5. I'll show you all this on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. I do keep a version of Cura 3.6 on my computer, so yes, I do go back and tweak the settings from time to time. So I do have a new set of profiles. And these profiles, I try to match as much as I can to what I learned in version four and put it into these. So now I have four, I have renamed them to Chep. I got rid of the magic. There's a best, there's a medium, there's a rough, and then there's one designated for round, no seam. And then of course the Ninja Flex. If you wanna get a hold of these, the link is at the bottom of the picture here. Just go down and download them and then expand them. It's a zip file. And then you can go here to Manage Profiles, go up to Import, and then one by one bring those profiles in. And that should get you going with 3.6. Try them out, let me know. Here's some of the results I got from testing. I'm really happy with the results I'm getting with 3.6. So now let's take a look at Cura version 4.5 beta. They're asking us to test it, and I did. I tested my profiles on it, and I did make some minor changes. I also added some profiles. I now have a round no seam. I have a 0.16 layer height and a 0.24. Renamed them all Chep, got rid of the magic, and gave a reference for people getting started so they know which one to select. Now within these, there are some, like I said, some minor changes. One of the changes I made is I allowed the top and bottom layers to adjust per the layer height. There were some issues by leaving it where it was. And I also, the bottom initial layer, I like concentric. A lot of people complained about that, so I changed it back to lines. You can always change it if you want. The biggest one is the Z-seam alignment. I had them all at random before. I'm getting good results, some people weren't. So I put it back to sharpest corner, and then I made that round one that will have a random in it. So you can choose what you want here, but if you want a really good print with no seam, this is the profile I use to make my Chep Pawn come out with no seam and really smooth using random. So you can try that out if you want. I'm not doing that for 0.2 or 0.28, too many complaints. Other than that, I made some minor changes, but the results, I'm getting really good prints, just like before, in fact, maybe slightly better. So I'm really happy with it. If you wanna try these out, same page on my Chep Club site, download them and give it a try. Cura has a long list of improvements. One stuck out to me right away, fuzzy skin outside only. If you go back to where I made a video, I showed you how to use fuzzy skin. I did it on a handle. This is the new feature, fuzzy skin outside only. Before or without that, you would make it like this, fuzzy on the outside, but it would also be fuzzy on the inside where it slid onto my paper cutter. The workaround was to use the per model settings put a block around it and tell it don't use fuzzy skin there and that way I could trick it into not doing it on the inside. But with this new feature, you just check the box, slice it with fuzzy skin enabled, and then it'll do fuzzy skin on the outside, but not on the inside. So simple little thing, but man, I love this. A bug fix that caught my eye is the retraction minimum travel was broken since version 4.0. And that's been fixed. And when I did a 30% Benchy with 4.5, oh my God, this is the best one I've gotten yet. There's still some improvement, obviously, but this is incredibly clean compared to what I was getting with the previous versions of Cura. It appears that it's mostly bug fixes and performance improvements. Not a lot of feature improvements that I can see here, but I'm gonna go through it and see if any of it can improve my profiles. But now let me show you this plugin that I just absolutely love. It makes 4.5 look like 3.6, but still gives me all the features. So one of the features I always enable and I really like with Incura, under preferences, there's the center camera one item is selected. So you click on it and it centers to the screen. Now in version 4.0 and later, the screen is bigger so you can see. And then you have the drop down for all the settings, but the two overlap. So I always move the model to the left so I can see it, especially in preview mode, not just prepare. But as soon as I click on it again, it shifts back over. 
it's so frustrating. So that was my main driver in doing this. And there's this sidebar GUI plugin. You can install it, accept it, then you have to quit Cura and restart it, and then it'll make the whole thing look like this. This is like 3.6. And when you click on the model, it centers to the open window now. And so then I can do all my different things to it. The profile settings are always on to the right of the model. And the scroll bar for preview is now moved over to the window. So it's a little easier to work with. And all the other features that were in 4.5 are just moved up to a new location. You can get to any of these things, including the nozzle sizes. That's here as a little drop down. Just click on the arrow and then your material and your nozzle. So everything is still there. It's just all contained on the one side, just like it is in 3.6. But you have all the features of version 4.5. So this is something I really love. And I still have all the flow settings that I don't have in 3.6. This is one of the features I like about version 4. So it's just something to play with. I really love it. So that's where they're at right now. So please download them, test them, and let me know your experience.